Hello everyone, my name is Eric Miller, your Senior Warden at Church of Our Savior. And as we so often find ourselves saying these days, we are living in very uncertain times. As a church and as a people, we're being tested every day. The leadership shown by our rector, our dedicated clergy and staff, and our engaged vestry have been exemplary, and I for one am very proud to be a member of the Church of Our Savior family. Our primary focus, of course, has been on keeping our parishioners healthy and safe, and we have been adhering strictly to the guidelines set out by the diocese and by our city, state, and federal governments. Our focus has also been on the pastoral care of our parish, and we have had to become very creative in thinking of ways to keep our Church of Our Savior family engaged in prayer and to ensure that those ministries and services that can be continued are done so in a safe way. Your vestry has also been focusing on ensuring that the Church of Our Savior is secure and sustainable during these critical times when reduced revenues and violent stock market volatility have become the temporary norm. As your senior warden, I wanna thank you for all for your, your continued financial support it may be physically difficult for us all to honor our pledge commitments. After all, it is impossible to put an envelope in a plate if the plate is no longer being passed. And for those among us who may be suffering financial hardship as a result of this crisis, that may challenge your ability to pledge as well. But for those of us who are able to, I encourage you to move to electronic giving during this uncertain period. I invite you to go to the Church of Our Savior website to the giving page where you'll be instructed on how to do so. You may also send in your pledge. Um, I'd like to remind you that the pledge envelopes, this is mine from this morning, um, are in fact suitable for, for mailing with a stamp and return address. Just don't send cash, only send checks, please. Finally, I'd like to say that together we will get through this with prayer, with the grace of God, and with the strong leadership that the church currently has at its disposal. God bless you all. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Compline here at Church of Our Savior. Uh, we've been praying Compline for a week now, uh, and uh, so thank you so much for continuing to join us at this time of fear and anxiety and uh, social distancing. Um, I, I find it's helpful to end my day in prayer, uh, and we are better because you chose to spend your time um, in prayer with us uh, this evening. Uh, we will continue with Compline uh, beginning on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer page 127. If you do not have a Book of Common Prayer at home, um, you can see a, a link on the digital content um, webpage on, at cosepiscopal.org. Um, if you press that button, you can have a, a bulletin to follow. But thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, after a recent directive from our bishop, um, I can no longer um, share worship with anyone outside my family, so I have to say both, the, uh, both roles today, so thanks for bearing with us. Uh, we'll begin on page 127. Uh, I'm going to ask all of us to say Psalm 31 in unison on page 129. Um, I will read one of the one of the appointed readings. Uh, we're hoping to, to to stream someone else in at some point to do that. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, uh, on page 134, there'll be a, a time for a prayer, either silently or aloud. So we will now begin on page 127. Actually, wait a second. Um, we we could use some better lighting. How about this? Awesome. Uh, how about a little bit more lighting? There. That's better. Thanks for bearing with us. Um, page one twenty-seven. 
The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll say Psalm 31 in unison. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around you like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we, who are weary by the changes and chances of this life, may rest in your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I want to pray this day for all who are sick, all who are working tirelessly for the common good, for this community, staff, and lay leaders, pray for your vestry, the outpouring of support, all who are lonely. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty, merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, blessings and prayers from your family at Church Mercy. Here. Mm -hmm.